Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Next shipment from Comic Bento showed up today, so we're gonna dive in, see what's in the box. Uh, this is their October box, so the theme was masks. So we've got bubble wrap, always fun. We have a package. <laughs> We have the card describing the theme, uh, masks, and with uh, information about the different comics. I'll read that later. Let's dive right in and see what comics we have. Ah, Captain Marvel. This is one of the things that I would have picked up eventually anyway, because I have heard only good things about this iteration of Captain Marvel and the newest iteration of Captain Marvel. A good, strong female character. Can't complain about that one little bit. This next one is Orchid, which I can't say I've heard of. Uh, it's a Dark Horse comic, so it's bound to be a little on the uh, gritty side. Taking a quick look through, it most certainly does seem to be on the uh, gritty and supernatural-ish and weird side. So that's, uh, that's going to be an interesting read. We have also the Green Hornet, one of the uh, classic characters um, that Dynamite is doing stuff with, so that's cool. Um, kind of a fan of the idea of the character. Uh, wasn't a fan of the movie they did. Uh, but, you know, the comic I've heard good things about. So... Again, awesome. And something from Valiant called Harbringer, which I, again, can't say um, I'm familiar with, but it looks cool. So it looks like it involves time travel, perhaps. I can dig that. Um, so that's the... Uh, that's the collection uh, this month. We got four good solid comics here. This month's Comic Bento was curated by none other than Gail Simone. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, she's an American comics writer who has written for the DC titles Wonder Woman and the all-new Atom, amongst a myriad of others. She, pro she penned Wildstorm's Gen 13 reboot and Welcome to Tranquility. Uh, wrote Birds of Prey and Deadpool and is currently on DC's Secret Six, Dynamite's Red Sonia, and Dark Horse's Tomb Raider. Uh, her work can be found online and in comic shops everywhere. That's why we have such a uh, solid selection this year, or, or this month, uh, because she goes into detail on this uh, little insert about why she picked each and every one of those uh, and she generally has good taste from everything I've seen her done uh, do in the past. Uh, can't really beat that. Uh, now, last month's uh, bunch, I, I actually haven't finished reading them yet. Hopefully I'll make it through these before the next box shows up. It's just October was really extra busy. Halloween and all that. Uh, but the ones I did read from uh, last month were uh, were pretty solid. There was the uh, Batman and Superman team up uh, for Vengeance, which was uh, very interesting, hopping across multiple dimensions. Um, there was the uh, Daredevil uh, season one, not related to the TV show at all, just a retelling of the character's early adventures. It's not my favorite retelling of his early adventures, uh, but it would have. It's a great way to get new people introduced to the character. Executive Assistant Iris, which was another one from last month. I'm, I'm about halfway through that. It's, it's a lot of fun. That's from the uh, same crew that did Witchblade. So there's a, again, you have your uh, kind of kick-ass, sexy female character uh, slicing and dicing her way through a bunch of villains and uh, in a really kind of messed up world. Those have all been uh, good so far, so for stuff I didn't really recognize last month, uh, I'm pretty happy. Uh, and since I do recognize stuff this month, I know I'm going to be pretty happy. Uh, so I can't complain one little bit about uh, spending money 
on uh, on these comic bento things. Uh, some of it's stuff I would have picked up anyway. Some of it's stuff I would have never picked up. And since I haven't actually picked up anything in a long time, this is probably the best way for me to uh, get a little bit back into the game and catch up on some of the stuff that's been around. If I, you're interested in the comic book bento thing, uh, I'll put a link down in the description so you can go and check them out, uh, see what else they have to offer. You can usually get uh, some back issues so to speak of uh, back shipments uh so the the last few months of stuff are there uh if you want to get your hands on one of these it's a little more expensive than what i'm paying with the uh, regular subscription but a lot of them are still available so that's kind of awesome still get a good discount if you uh, like what i'm doing here uh give me a thumbs up down in the comments if you're not subscribed uh subscribe and uh, if you know anyone else who's interested in stuff like this, share this with them. Get them involved in the discussion. Speaking of the discussion, tell me what your favorite uh, superhero comics are, since that's uh, what we've got going on here. We've got a lot of secret identities going on. Who's your favorite character with a secret identity? Uh, I'm Kier. That's it for today. I guess I'll see you tomorrow.